You awaken to the sound of birds singing cheerfully outside. The scent of fresh baked bread and coffee are carried in on the sea salt air, as sunlight streams through the window in your room at the sleeping seagull, a tavern you have been staying at for the past ten day while here in Port Kazari. You get up, dress yourself, and follow the smells downstairs into the tavern proper. You see a burly dwarven man behind the bar. Bright red hair sits in a pile on top of his head, and he wears a simple leather apron and white shirt. His long beard is braided and covers half of his craggy, stern face. As he sees you, his cold brown eyes soften a bit, and he cracks a smile. Good morning, sleepyhead. Glad to see you up and about. When you came in last night from dock work, I was afraid you would pass out and never wake up. What can I get you for breakfast? Oh, well, I have bacon, eggs, fresh bread, danvi fruit, you name it. Ugh, just coffee, huh? You humans and your coffee. There we go. No charge today. I see how hard you work. This one is on the house. So, you're headed back to the docks. Could you take this letter to the dock warden, Darren? It's kind of important. Oh, thank you, my friend. Uh, here, take a roll for the road. As you leave the tavern and head toward the docks, you feel the bite of the cold autumn winds on your face. You see several members of the King's Hammer, the local guard in Nimduvar, milling around keeping an eye on things. You see vendors at their shops trying to sell their wares, calling out FRESH FISH and CUSTOM JEWELRY MADE HERE. As you continue on, you see the dock warden's office. A small, squat stone building with a tiny amount of erosion for being so near the sea. You enter to find a small, cozy room with a crackling fire and a writing desk behind which is seated a gnomish figure with a slight handlebar mustache and a thin goatee. He wears a simple white shirt and a leather vest. His long hair, salt-peppered with age, is tied back as he writes in an absolutely enormous book. Well, hello, darling. What brings you here today? I see. You've got a letter for me from Torbus. Wonderful. And then I suppose you're heading to the docks? Fantastic. All right, I'll take the letter. Hmm. Oh, no. This will not do at all. Hmm. Darling, I have something of a favor I need to ask of you. If you don't mind, of course. Well, you know me as the Dark Warden. But I'm more than just the uh, keeper of the peace here on the docks. I'm also in charge of the local Adventurers League. Uh, essentially the governmental body in charge of assigning adventuring groups, people to go out and take care of problems that normal guards can't take care of. And apparently, there's a mine in the town of Coffinwell, not too terribly far from here, that has been overrun with some kind of creatures. We aren't sure why or what's causing it, and... Well, we need someone to go check it out. And I know you are quite skilled and capable, so I thought, perhaps you would like to go. It's only about twenty minutes north of here on horseback. I can supply you with a horse, and any other type of supplies you might want or need. As for a reward, well, the standard fare is about fifty gold, but since you're a friend... I can give you ten gold pieces now, and... Fifty upon completion when you return. 
How does that sound? So that's 60 gold pieces total. And the opportunity to be a hero. <laughs> well, I won't rush you. If you want, you can always head back down to the docks and try your hand at maybe finding an adventure there. <laughs> Either way, I'll be here. Just let me know what you decide and I'll make the arrangements. So, the choice is yours. Do you accept the job from the Dock Warden Darren and travel to Coffinwell? Or do you head down to the docks and seek out adventure there? Vote using the icon in the top right-hand corner of the screen. And join me next week to continue the adventure. See you then.